What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture, Hop Farm. In this video, I'm going to be showing you Nana's garden. And what's Nana's garden? It's my mother's garden where she has a really small plot right here where she's growing a lot of food. And I want to show you how she's doing it. Alright, so Nana's garden. Let me give you a little. Well, I need to redo her sign. You can't even read. You can hardly read what's on there now. It says Nana's garden. I made this spot for her. I think it was like two Mother's Days ago. My mom works at a school. She's a transliterator for the deaf and she helps out kids that have hearing problems. And she was growing a lot of stuff at the school for them, showing the kids how plants go from a seed to a plant and then give you fruit. I decided why not give her a spot to plant those plants instead of having to find someone to give them to or doing whatever she was going to do with them. She can bring them home from school and plant them in here. And this is a great example for anybody with a small space looking to grow some of their own food. Say maybe all you have is an apartment patio or a house with no yard or very little yard. So, I'm gonna show you right in the middle real quick what she's got going on. She has one bed, one little raised bed. It's about uh, three foot by two foot. And inside this bed, she's got green beans and lettuce. So she's doing companion planting inside this bed to try to get as much out of this bed as possible. So what she did, she planted green beans in the middle and along the outside of it, she's got some romaine lettuce going. The idea here was the green beans are going to grow a little, a little bit slower. You have to plant the lettuce before the green beans so that the lettuce is going to grow up. Then you can harvest the lettuce and then the green beans are going to come in and you can harvest the green beans. Also around this little raised bed we have here for her, she has pots all around this area. In these pots she's got some tomatoes. She got some peppers, like this is a pepper right here. There's some peppers over here. Behind her little bed, there is cucumbers running around all over here. And she, this is the first year she's really planted in this area. In the front of the area, this is the first year she's planted up here too. What we did is, around that little bed right there, we put cardboard the first year all around here. So, so the weeds wouldn't get all crazy and we didn't have to mow really close. And what that cardboard did is it helped drown out the grass and the weeds. So this year, she's planting, she extended her garden from that little bed there. Now she's got zucchinis and squash out here. She's got some more green beans out here. I think she's got some, yep, she's got some fruit coming in. Right down in there. A little zucchinis. And she did dust these with diatomaceous earth. This is a great example of a small space growing a lot of food. She's got cucumbers, she's got tomatoes, multiple tomatoes in the ground here. Those were actually volunteers that popped up. Those tomatoes over there. And then also peppers in pots. Green beans, lettuce, zucchinis, squash. She's got some herbs over here, which is some basil. And of course she got some little flowers over here at the corner and at the other corner there's some flowers in that pot over there i'm sure there's people watching this that live in an apartment i'm sure there's people watching this that have a very small house and almost no land and they just feel like they don't can't grow any of their own food but this is a great example of a small area that you can grow a ton of food in Oh yeah, I want to show you some, compa some companion planting she's doing with her tomatoes. Carrots really like tomatoes. 
So at the base right here of her tomato plants, she put carrot seeds all around the base and they're starting to pop up. So she has carrots growing with her tomatoes. So when you're thinking about growing in a small space, there's a couple of things you can think about. Is companion planting like that, like with the carrots and the tomatoes, Back here, she's got lettuce and green beans in the same spot. And also succession planting. What is succession planting? Well, you think about, for instance, lettuce, like a cut and come can lettuce that's gonna grow really fast and quick. You can plant that around, say, a squash plant. That's gonna take a while before it produces any fruit. And you can harvest your lettuce while your squash is growing. Once your squash is, is growing and you're getting fruit off of it, it's blocking out the lettuce and then you can harvest the squash. So succession planting, how can you get as much out of one bed or out of one pot as possible? And I wanna show you one more way you guys can grow some of your own food. Look at this back here. I do grow in pots, containers. We've got about 50 heads of lettuce. We've got some Swiss chard down here. We've got about 30 tomato plants. And over here I'm starting uh, pumpkins and a bunch of watermelons down here. So this isn't taking up a lot of space. I've got in a, on a 10 foot by, maybe a 10 foot by 10 foot area here, maybe a little bit less, there is a lot of food being grown. So I hope this gives you a couple ideas and you're wanting to grow some of your own food. First off, get some pots, get some containers. You don't even have to buy them. There's, there's so many places out there where you can find free containers on Craigslist or Facebook or the side of the street when people are throwing it away on trash day. There's all kinds of places you can buy, you can get free pots, free containers, and then buy some soil. That's one thing you might have to do is if, you're not, if you don't have a place to make your own compost, is buy a couple bags of soil and start growing in those pots. Now you can grow multiple things in those pots. Like I said, you could have your tomato plant right in the middle of the pot, and on the outside you have carrots. Maybe in between those carrots you put a lettuce plant. So in one pot you could have your tomatoes, your carrots, and your lettuce in one pot. So I know it's frustrating for some people to watch others that have a ton of land and can plant pretty much anywhere they want to and they have nowhere to go or nowhere to plant. Hope this gives you some ideas, gets the brain moving on how you can just start planting your own food, start growing your own food. That's it. You have to start somewhere. Take, go ahead and take that first step guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and share this with a friend because I'm sure you've got some friends that live in small spaces that wouldn't mind growing some of their own food. Later, y'all. Banana garden. Rocking and rolling.